Hello children. Today let us understand the lesson. Three questions from the text Honeycomb. This simple story conveys the message of the importance of time, the importance of people around us and the importance of being good to others. Now let us understand the lesson. Once upon a time there was a king. He wanted to be successful and for this purpose he wanted the correct answers to three questions. The questions were what is the right time to begin something? Which people should he listen to? What is the most important thing to do? The king sent his messengers far and wide. He promised a big reward to anyone who could give the correct answers to his questions. Many wise men came to the king's court, but their answers could not satisfy him. For each of his questions, he got different answers. In answer to the first question, different answers were given by different people. Some people suggested that in order to know the right time, we should know about the future. And so, the king should go to the magicians. Similarly, different answers were given to the second question. Some said that the advice of the counsellors would be important. Others said that the priest should be listened to and some others thought that he should listen to his soldiers. Many suggestions were made to the third question too. Some chose signs, others fighting and yet others religious worship. The king was not satisfied with any of these answers and so he did not give anyone a reward. The king decided to consult a hermit. The hermit lived in a wood. He met only ordinary people. So the king, dressed like a common man, went to the wood. He left his horse with the bodyguard. He found the hermit in front of his hut. He was digging the ground. The king told the hermit that he had three questions. The hermit listened to his questions, but he made no reply. He went on digging. The king offered to help the hermit. After digging two beds, the king repeated his questions. The hermit gave no answer. It was sunset. The king stopped digging. He repeated his questions, but again he did not get an answer to his questions. Just then, the king saw a bearded man running towards them. Blood was flowing from his stomach. He fainted and fell to the ground. The king and the hermit dressed the wounds of the stranger. At last, the bleeding stopped and the man felt better. The king and the hermit carried the wounded man into the hut. The next morning, when the king woke up, the bearded man asked the king for forgiveness. Seeing this, the king was surprised. The bearded man revealed his identity. He said that he was the king's enemy. He had come to kill the king. He wanted to take revenge because the king had put his brother to death. The king had also seized his property. The king forgave the bearded man. To show his forgiveness, he promised to send his servants and his own doctor to look after him. He also promised to give him back his property. The king was now ready to go back. He went to the hermit and requested him to answer his questions. The hermit replied that his questions were already answered. And the hermit explained in detail. He told the king that the most important time is now, the present, because it is the only time we have any power to act. The most important person is the person with whom you are at that moment. And the most important thing to do is to do that person good 
with whom you are at that moment. This is the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe and comment for suggestions.